came up with the whole team viral without one meme y'all backseat with the freestyles i'm up front with the damn keys i'm in drive like gosling blade runner to the fall shit came in with a full clip won't leave till i hit my target been dope like ob flow stark tech like tony been me since 93 y'all shape shift so low-key i've been moving like crypto stealth with it like tiptoe they say i've been up next like tell me something i don't know i make hits you make excuses bass head tail leave bruises carry over with the flow knocking coming at me like a fair faucet loco and global now the universe can see the vision Twin jet when i take off wings don't stop no rick ross if you complain i won't complain or don't try to book my name price about to go way up like spacex over la i'm elon in the rap game i was slept on till the game changed they called me crazy now my life is insane they told me that i was crazy they said that i lost my mind in the end we all go crazy i just didn't waste no time if living for a dream is crazy Hello everyone, what is going on and welcome back to my channel for another video today. Now, in today's video, we are back at it with Infinite Warfare in 2019. Now, I've already done, I think, two IW in 2018 videos and one IW in 2019 video already because, damn, I love this game. Like, yep, it's becoming, it's going to be its uh, third birthday, that sounded really weird. But um, this is the third like life cycle of Infinite Warfare. Obviously, BO3 Year 3 got a hell of a lot of like recognition because BO3 also was a good game. Was that game ran for three years, and honestly, IW might do, but not like as popular as BO3 because honestly, it just wasn't as po uh, popular of a game. But there will still be like TDM lobbies, what you can find in um, IW. It probably will be until the next Call of Duty is released. So in this game, I've got to actually probably very high standard gameplays compared to like what I normally post and um, the first one is going to be on Frost and I believe it's about a 66 gun streak I think it's a 66 or a 63 gun streak but obviously is a double jug equivalent with us I think it's a 74 KD as well so yeah that wasn't really too bad and the next um the next game is a double jug which I think is 236 gun streaks I was free off the triple equivalent and that is also with a 74 KD as well so 270 kill TDM challenges also with a really high KD with a double jug equivalent which is um that's pretty damn good now if you missed my last upload which was a, a TDM triple D app which is um Something I want to touch up on quickly, like, but I'm actually kind of really proud of that because there's not many people at all who can actually say they've got a TDM triple diat or equivalent. Obviously, a 75 gun streak is equivalent of a uh, three deatomizer strikes. So there's not not really many people who can actually say they've got a TDM triple. The only people I actually know of is Team Memory and I think a couple of Italian people. But obviously, I could be wrong. Obviously, there probably is more people. But that's the only people I know of. Um, for definite is Team M and a few Italian pubs dumps, but I don't really know anyone else who's actually got a TDM triple. Now, obviously I am using an Augur and Synaptic in this gameplay, and yet again I just want to kind of wanted to prove to people like Augur and Synaptic or Augur, uh, sorry, Synaptic Titan, Synaptic Raw, anything like that is just, it gives you so much of an advantage that it's not even funny anymore. Like I'm just destroying these kids without even trying. Like the fact that the Augur fires as fast as it actually does when and it's a free shot kill as well it's actually it's it's unfair honestly it is unfair the ogre and it should have been nerfed a long time ago same with the titan and fans because the titan it doesn't kick at four bullets like no recoil at all obviously um aims in fast like no like sp uh idle sway decent hip spread like it's honestly probably the most perfect gun you can have a suppressor on it there's not much more you need with a titan i mean but you can't put a suppressor on it but it makes up for that and it's time to kill and the fact like the variants you can get for the ogre is so perfect like the one i'm using now is the pulverizer which you didn't really pay much, pay much attention to Infinite Warfare. Basically, what the Pulverizer does is every time you get a double kill, um, it reloads your magazine. So you can just keep on spraying and spraying and spraying and spraying and never have to worry about reloading again because of the fact that you can just it reloads every double kill. So you don't even need to worry about reloading. You don't need dexterity, which is like really nice because on this class, I run Grip, Quick Draw, Extender Mags, and Elo with Hardline, Scavenger, and a Personal Radar. Whereas normally I'd use Dexterity because I like to reload faster. Unless it's on a Titan or a Raw, you don't really need Dexterity on an LMG, but like a K Bar, NV4, any SMG. I like to have Dexterity so I can always reload fast and be ready for a gunfight. Like obviously, if I don't have an advanced up and I can't see people. Um, you don't need it with this, which is perfect. I mean, that obviously allows you more space to maybe put on a hardwired or like hardline, something like that. It just gives you more opportunities for perks or equipment. Now, I was obviously using Synaptic in both games. You know, I don't normally use Synaptic. You might look back through my IW gameplays from like uh, recently and think, Jack, all you've used is Synaptic. 
it's year three. I'm done trying to like get gameplays without a synaptic to prove a point. I think I've proved a point enough. Me saying that I, I can play without synaptic, but my highest kit. Well, I mean, I use Warfighter. I think it's um. I think I've got a hundred odd thousand kills with Warfighter, with like a 5.80 KD with him. So I think I've proved well enough that I can play without Synaptic. So you know that's just kind of one to get through to people because obviously Synaptic makes it so damn easy, which is why I was to get these gameplays. Like my last three gameplays are going to be a, a TDM triple D. At like the KD will be 75 and one, 66 and one, and 74 and one. That's all with Auger and Synaptic. If that doesn't explain how easy Synaptic and Ogre is at actually to use in this game, it, I mean, nothing really will. It's just completely broken. Now, IW in 2019, let's talk about it. Is it good? Yes, of course it's good. IW is a game what you will enjoy if you're a good player. Now, what I mean by that is obviously everyone can enjoy Call of Duty. Some bad players or worse players still enjoy Call of Duty, and obviously that is fine, but... For the most part, you'll only really enjoy Infinite Warfare if you are actually good at it. Like, not just like a decent at it, but like really good at it. As in, you could drop nukes near on left, right, and centre. That's what made it fun with this game because it was easy to do that. Now, that's why I liked it. My friends liked it. A lot of the people who I'm in uh, in the community with, they did like Infinite Warfare because they were good at it and they could like drop nukes and gameplays consistently, which is what obviously makes it fun. What I find fun in Call of Duty is pub something. I like slapping kids. I like like getting high gameplays, high KDs, kills, nuclears, stuff like that. That's what I find fun about Call of Duty. And even when I've started playing JBs a lot and BO4 and a lot of competitive player, I'll still always be a pub samba player like at heart because that's just generally what got me uh, involved with Call of Duty more so um, yeah that's I think IW in 2019 is still fun let me know what you think of IW in 2019 and I, I don't think I need to put the class setup it's just basically grip quick to extend the mags elo scavenger hardline and personal radar so definitely give it a try if you are next on um, Ad uh, Infinite Warfare and obviously if you do get a good gameplay or something and um, maybe you want to feature it on my channel please um, let me know and I will uh, think about doing that because I did kind of miss doing the shout out series I had because it did it did feel good like to kind of help people who might not have the exposure they deserve because obviously I only have 2k subs it's not like as if like I'm proper well known on YouTube but I mean every little helps I guess I mean if I can help you get three or four or five subs then that's fine by me, I do like helping people out because like, it isn't the easiest thing to make it on YouTube at all, like, it's really not easy because you've got a lot, a lot, a lot of people trying to do similar things to you, so why should people sub to me compared to people sub to everyone else when we're all doing near enough the same thing with a little variation, like, it's hard to make it on YouTube, so any little help I can give to people I'll be more than happy to, obviously I'm not going to look just like let you upload every single video on my channel but if you've got a, a banging gameplay what you want more people to see please just message me and i'll um, see what we th we can do now having said i'll leave you the rest of the gameplays today thank you so much for watching today's video and i'll see you in the next one and peace Chokey beef!